Everyone, here we are looking at uh, Plataea from uh, the Hoplite series, and we've read through uh, the book on the histories and had a little bit of an examination of uh, what transpired historically. And as you as you know from the other videos I've put together, we haven't uh, followed the exact course of events, and the Spartans and the Greeks and the Athenians all decided to bug out of town and get into a, what we thought was a more uh, uh, a safer position. But <clears throat> through a misreading of some of the terrain impact or terrain effects on combat, uh, these minor streams have no defensive benefit, which was a, a nasty surprise once I, I checked the chart. Uh, nevertheless, uh, it's unfortunate the Persian army with their wicker shields and ineffective weapons and uh, standoff style of combat uh, really were no match for the Spartans or the Athenians. And what, what transpires is that uh, the, the combat results table uh, really penalizes, once you're engaged, really penalizes the Persian uh, forces for uh, being involved in combat. Uh, if something was in a neutral kind of combat mode, uh, you'd be looking at to uh, conduct the combat on a on a seven column, which is average. Pretty much, so both sides would lose two or three. Uh, but as a light infantry unit or a medium infantry unit, you're either going to be on the four column or the two column, which is nasty no matter what. You're typically going to lose between four and uh, or more uh, combat factors or TQ cohesion hit, take cohesion hits, uh, and only inflict two. <clears throat> uh, to compound that. Uh, typically the hoplite with their large shields and, and armor are going to be defense superior which would mean you would triple the damage of the attacker uh, that the attacker takes so four would become twelve uh, which would mean you would lose if three units were ganging up on a phalanx you would probably lose with nearly all of them so what does that mean? <clears throat> what that means is as we've, we're now at the beginning of the 13th turn and we pulled the uh, we pulled the chit here for. Oh, I can't get the focus. We always have this problem. I don't even know why I bother trying to show you these things. Uh, maybe I can do it this way. That would be really cute. This guy. Uh, so we pulled the Greek, uh, the Spartans, uh, out first. They uh, are now, most of them are now no longer adjacent to any units, so they uh, took an opportunity to recover. And given that uh, they all now have fairly comfortable margins here. This guy's he's still at a four. We got really close here. We had to roll for some results. Uh, both sides basically routed and whoever lost the least amount of points uh, got to stay on the board, which was very beneficial to the Spartans the way that worked out. Nevertheless, uh, so, so it's all pretty grim uh, for the Persians. They have accumulated 200 of the 265 points they need to uh, fail. And the, uh, the uh, Greek alliance has only accumulated 44 of the 200 uh, points they need. So that's the Spartan wing. And so what I'm leading you to is that I think we're done with this particular uh, scenario. I'm going to pop out a picture here. Here's the, the Greek states. That's the weakest force they have. You can see their leader only has a zero rating. He adds, actually adds almost no benefit to the, uh, the combats. And the Athenians were the ones that led off the uh, aggressive uh, charge, as opposed to t sitting back and waiting for the, the forces, uh, the Persian forces to come in. They actually uh, uh, stepped up, stepped forward, and uh, uh, routed a significant number of the of, uh, Adapsuses. I think it's the Adapsus. Is that who he is? Adapsus. And I think that's what his name is. That's abbreviated, so I can't tell you what it is. Uh, <clears throat> and and uh, took a whip into him and also knocked out uh, uh, one of the mediaized Greek uh, phalanxes. Uh, that inspired the Spartans to do the same thing, and the Spartans uh, literally wiped out all of uh, Madonis, Madonius's uh, uh, medium infantry. They have one unit left here, I think. And, uh, and yeah, and that's it. Uh, and there's been no rallies that have made any impact. There's another guy there. Uh, so that's it. So that's the battle. I, I'm not going to play it out to the end. I think we know what might happen. Uh, pretty much it's, it would all come down to something significant happening here if we can manage to get the, uh, the, 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 the uh, this Greek force here engaged with the Athenians.
So uh, we're going to wrap that up. That's Platea. And we'll uh, talk to you again soon. I was really looking forward to uh, perhaps doing a little counter attack up along here and really messing up those guys. Ends up we didn't need to do that. Nor did we uh, uh, do very much with uh, these forces here, but that would have been perhaps this turn. All right, uh, we'll uh, post this up and talk to you soon.